Welcome to Muscle Premium 6. This is the main menu, and you can see that the app is organized by body region. To get started, choose a region from the icons on the left. Then, use the icons along the bottom to find a view that you are interested in. If you are searching for a specific muscle, the muscle index is the fastest way to access content. Let's take a look at the supraspinatus muscle. The muscle index brings you to a detailed view showing origin and insertion points, innervation, and blood supply. The controls are very simple. You can use one finger to rotate the model and two fingers to drag or pan the model. Double tap a structure to center it in your view. Spread your fingers apart to zoom in. Pinch them together to zoom out. There are several ways that you can customize the anatomy on screen. The broadest stroke is to use the systems tray. I can toggle the skeletal system off and on, which will add the entire skeleton to my view. If I want to add the rest of the rotator cuff, I first select the supraspinatus to bring up the content box. Tapping on this caret will open up the hierarchy list. From here, I can choose to add the entire rotator cuff group. Now I'd like to add more surrounding anatomy. The fastest way to do this is to use the radius blast, which will add nearby anatomy from all systems, one click at a time. If I add something that I don't want, I can select it and use the fade button to see through it, or the hide button to get rid of it. If I make a mistake, I can use the history tool and go back a few steps. I'm pretty happy with this view, but I'd like to hide the attachment markings on the skeleton. Use this button to turn them off. The last thing I'd like to do is add the heart. To do this, I'm going to open the search and type in heart, then add it to my view. I'd like to be able to access this view again in the future. I'm tapping the favorite button to name my view and save it. I can find all of my saved views in the favorites section on the main menu. Now let's take a look at the supraspinatus in action. I'm going to the actions section and choosing shoulder abduction. If I fade these muscles, I can see how the supraspinatus muscle aids in abducting the arm. Let's take a look at pathologies. I'm going to stay with the rotator cuff. I can cycle through to see both damaged and healthy muscle. If I want some more information about this condition, I can read the definition. Now I'd like to test what I've learned about the shoulder joint. Let's take a quiz. I'm asked to locate and select certain structures. These may be covered up, and I'd need to use the hide button to find the correct answer. If English is not your primary language, you can go to the settings menu and choose from German, Spanish, French, Italian, Chinese, or Japanese. This concludes the tutorial. Thanks for joining us, and thanks for choosing Muscle Premium.